Hello and welcome to another What's Inside. Today we are looking at What Am I game. This is obviously a knockoff of headbands. I found these at a Dollar Tree and there were two boxes. I don't know if the contents are different so I bought them both because they were a buck a piece. This one had dogs on it, this one had cats. So blue for cats, red for dogs. Figured we'll check them out, see what the difference is because it looks like the cards might be different so I thought Let's check it out. But it's aimed for ages 6 and up. It's put out by Greenbrier. It's not a company I've ever heard of, but they probably do a lot of these type of uh, inexpensive import games. So it's just got a couple pieces of tape keeping it sealed. So let's open up the red one first and see what it looks like. Then we'll look at the blue one. Alright, not much to it. We get a little instruction sheet. Speaker shut off. It's got a little Greenbrier International product code at the bottom. And we've got four plastic headbands. Not the greatest, but a little higher end than I expected, quite frankly. And these are kind of a cool concept because you could just slide the card right in there. So pretty universal size. I got a big head and this would fit on me. Then we've got some chits here. Let's see how many of these we've got. It's like 20 of them. There's a staple. That's lovely. So there's 10, 20 of these little chits and they do have Greenbrier International with a patent code, I assume. But they're just little discs. Uh, they're kind of nice, actually. They're not high-end plastic, but definitely not the worst I've ever seen. And here we have red-backed cards. So let's get these out of the way and take a look at the cards. All right. So again, we've got the numbers at the bottom here. And they've got a cupcake, microphone. These are all just kind of strung together with perforation. So we've got a cupcake, microphone, watch, lollipop, a dog, butterfly, a table, a pear, oh, a little monkey, I bet he rants, a teapot, a plane, a pencil, a bucket, a banana, a skirt, a pizza, and that's it. Pretty standard stuff. Pretty decent selection. Sixteen different cards. The cards are actually a little thicker than I expected. I expected them to be very, very thin. They are pretty thin. Don't get me wrong, but they're actually nicer quality than I expected. It's got kind of a cheap gloss to it, but it's effective for what it is. And it'll probably actually hold up reasonably well with minimal use. You know, if you're just playing this like once or twice a year with the kids, it'll probably hold up pretty well. So I'm actually kind of impressed with this. So let's take a look at the blue set and see if it's any different. We'll get these out of the way. plastic thing all right so let's uh, open this one up all right, there's our little sheet again the game instructions are on the back. It's pretty simple. You just take turns guessing. And inside it does say four headbands, 20 chits, 16 cards, one question sheet. So here's your question sheet. This thing is garbage. This is going to fall apart. But the questions are pretty straightforward. So again, we've got the headbands. This is the exact same thing. I do like this. Like I said, this is a good idea. 
And here's our 20 token chits things. So those are the same. To get those out of the way, we already looked at the ones in the other box. And let's look at the cards, which is really the important part. The cards are blue, so they are different in that respect. I got them backwards. Let's see what we've got. Camera, guitar, key, bicycle, a bee, a shoe, hot dog, lion. The art's pretty cute. It's very kid friendly. I'm an apple. I'm a cheese. I'm a basketball. I'm an ice cream. These are obviously different. I'm a book. An orange spoon and a kitty cat. Okay, so that is good to know that there are differences between the two boxes. I only saw the two colors, so I imagine there's only two of them to be had. So that is what is inside What Am I a Game? This is obviously a board game of some kind for board kids, but it's very similar to the Headbands game, but a very cheap alternative. And quite honestly, it's about decent quality, especially for the price. I'm actually kind of impressed with how good it was for a buck. So I spent $2, and I got enough for 8 people to play, and there is a lot of variety between the two sets because they are different, which is really nice. So... For a low-end knockoff game, this is a really good deal. Because that Headbands game, I've seen it go for about 10 bucks, Sometimes more, sometimes less, obviously. But this is a great alternative. Uh, you get four headbands in each one, two or more players. If you've got a bunch of kids coming over for a party or something, this would be a great game for them to play. You get two boxes, you get eight kids playing. It could be a good time for them, and they'll have a lot of fun guessing and stuff like that. And there'll be enough variety of cards between the two boxes that you could have a lot of fun with it. And the kids will have a good time. The pieces seem really shockingly good quality for the price point. And I know Greenbrier has made some other kind of low-end stuff before, but this is surprisingly decent for the money. So I would recommend this for sure. It's a simple game that any kid six and over would have no problems playing with. I don't, at least I don't think so. So yeah, definitely worth checking out. Next time you're at a dollar store or a discount store, check it out, see what you think. But I would definitely uh, have some kids play this if I was having a part, birthday party or something like that for one of my kids. But that's just my take. We've seen what's in the box. I told you what I thought. That's going to do it for this one. Thank you so much for listening and supporting the channel. If you enjoyed the video, be sure and hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss future unboxings and reviews. If you want to help the channel in other ways, links are in the description to my Patreon, Streamlabs, and Teespring stores. And if you're into comic books, be sure and check out my Bad Comic Reviews channel. The link should be in the description or somewhere on the page. And as always, we hope to see you on the next one.